she is, pretty girl. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Puppy. Oh, I guess we're just parking. Gonna get the brain swab. So we're doing the COVID test. I didn't realize we have to do it ourselves. Like there's nobody to stick it up our noses. We should do it ourselves. Yeah, it says right here. When instructed, insert the swab into the nose no more than half an inch. Twist along the nostril for five seconds on both sides. So like this should be interesting. We've each gotten, well, you've gotten like a hundred. I've probably gotten like 50 something COVID tests just with our jobs and softball and stuff. But like, I've never had to do it myself. <laughs> so this should be fun. So hopefully that was the first and last time we'll ever have to do the COVID test ourselves. But I mean, at least then we know that someone's not going up into our brains and doing it for us. But that was painless. And now we're going up and parking and hopefully within 25 minutes, we're in the clear to get on the boat. There's a lot of paperwork and stuff that they go through on this as well as like making reservations for things like um, recreation stuff food things like that but this is definitely gonna be important because that's how we're gonna talk to each other because no cell service out in the middle of nowhere but here we are I'm so freaking excited. Little pre-cruise photos before you get on. You just have to film your stateroom, which is nice because we don't have our key to the world cards yet. Apparently those end up outside our door, which like doesn't seem safe, but like, there you go, I guess. This QR code is like so important. They've scanned it like 15 times. Here. Yes. Yay. And here we go. You got it. Disney Dream, please welcome the world. <laughs> oh my god, it's all Halloween! Oh. Oh, look at Minnie, she's so cute! Right here on the Mickey Oh, Hi! Cool! Oh my god. scan in and then they're like okay you can watch a video in your room and if you've been on a Disney cruise before you know that the safety meetings are usually like a whole affair so I like this much better I'm so excited How excited are you? 12. <laughs> Yay! And for those of you who know Wesley, that's a very hard feat to achieve. The elusive of 12. <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, by the time I post this, it's gonna be long gone. <laughs> but isn't that still your castaway number no matter what? I mean, what are they gonna do? Book me another cruise? Fine, they can't get on it without my permission. But anyways, if it makes you feel better. But yes, we got our Key to the World cards and also booked a Remy reservation and they sent this little card to our room basically being like, hey, hey, 
do you want to focus? There we go. Basically being like, hey, show up at this time. Uh, boys, don't come in ripped jeans. Have a good time. It's actually way more fancy than just like not wearing ripped jeans. My dad got turned away at the door a few years ago because he needed a sport coat and they made him rent a sport coat. So, very fancy. Wesley, are we excited for Emmys tonight? Of course. Of course, and we're gonna look so good and we're gonna eat the best food. The only thing I'm not excited for is I always love the different dining areas here. And for those of you who don't know, it says on your Key to the World card, like which areas you're eating at. And R A E. I don't know what E is. A is Animator's Palette. But then R is like the royal table, like princessy themed one. And we're gonna miss it because we're going to Remy's. So I'm gonna have to ask if maybe we can sneak in there and take a look around. But ah, I'm so excited! I'm so pumped. Oh, I wonder. I bet you we have to put our room key in. I'm right. I think you have to put like a room key in to make the lights work because we're eco friendly here. Cause see, there's like a little thing of a bobber. Maybe I have it upside down. Yeah. Oh, I was You're right. smart. This is what happens when you study hospitality management for three years. Um, you learn about things like this. Oh. Yep, this is what my UCF education has brought me. I can graduate now. <laughs> but now that we're done <laughs> with our lighting session, our lesson on green and being green, basically, so like when you leave the room, it will turn off the lights for you, except it didn't. I would have thought when you leave the room, Maybe it turns off after a while. We'll see. We're going to have an experiment putting this back in my pocket. But anyways, let's take a look around. So, itty bitty door, obviously. Everything is itty bitty here. That's what happens when you have to fit a bazillion rooms. But it's really nice because the restroom is separated from... Where's the light switch? Probably outside, lol. But the... Oh. Probably can't turn it on because I don't have my key. I'm a mess, dude. No, generally not. But the restroom is actually separate from the shower, which is super nice. Oh, yes, H2O products. I don't know why. I'm obsessed with H2O products. Babe, I guarantee you the one thing they're not going to give us for free here is sunscreen because they're no, they know tourists like you are going to forget sunscreen and then get burnt and then you'll... Do you forget sunscreen? What? Do you have sunscreen? I don't burn. That's a lie. But like, I don't burn as easily as some people. So I just never wear sunscreen, which probably means I'm never wearing gloves when I'm like 80. Fight you. Please do fight me, please do. Oh god. No, 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 Can I lock this? Oh god, I'm in the dark. It's just me. No! <laughs> Small one here, but. Let's see what our closet space is like. I got a cute little laundry bag. You think if I take that, they'll charge me for it? Oh. What did you do? I found our life vests. <laughs> That's interesting. They have our state number as well as our meeting spot on them. They're playing Shang-Chi. Oh. 30, 30, uh -huh. We are not going to Shang-Chi in the daytime. We have too many things to do. Wow, there's a lot of life vests. Maybe I'll take more than one and just make sure I'm definitely going to survive if we end up like the Titanic. Huge fan that there's a whole bunch of hangers here. But yeah, this is like your classic veranda room um, because that's the only one that you're allowed to get when you use a cast discount like we did. And it does have like a partial view, which I really don't mind because look, we have a veranda and for so cheap. Um, so the cast discounts, it kind of depends on the week and they're by availability. So like this one wasn't originally available for my birthday weekend. And so we weren't going to go, weren't going to go, weren't going to go. It was just too expensive. And it's only going to Castaway Key um, because of, like, the whole COVID thing with the Bahamas. But it, like, dropped a few weeks ago. So, of course, we grabbed it. Um, I think we paid six ten a person, not including everything. It's, like, the room and all that good stuff. But still better than it's, like, a grand a person most of the time. So, But, again, you can only choose the veranda, which I will take over an inside stateroom any day of the week. Some squad. Some squad. Yeah, this is the adults only area, so catch us being here 20. What was that? Catch us being at the adults only section like 24 7 because Wesley's not the biggest fan of children, yet here we are on a children's cruise. We got like a whole putt putt area. Lesson one use the proper stance. 
This is like so fun and they're all different themes. Okay, and thank goodness they like give you the little tracing of where you're supposed to go. Oh my God, this is so cute. Lightning in the area. Ah! <laughs> this is Goofy Sport oh, Deck. Look at that parking garage. Oh, wow. That's what I'm here for is the parking garage. How did you know, babe? I had a dream the other night that I dropped my phone off of our veranda. <laughs> Backs away from the bridge. Yes. Debriefing and shortly. By now, most, if not all of you, into your designated assembly station and checked in. However, if you have not visited your assembly station, please suggest that you make your way there now and check in immediately. Please take time to also view the safety video that is available to watch on your skateboarding television. This video will demonstrate the proper method for donning your life jacket as well as applying general safety tips to all those on your own board. The general I love you. United States knows that we just got a safety briefing. I love how they throw the magic Did, in afterwards. That music just went perfectly with that lightning. It's okay. pixie dust. We're gonna go with pixie dust, not lightning. Uh, yeah, no, we're, we're I wonder what our safety alarm sounds like. I have no idea. I know this is like for a very important reason, but it's still it's funny because they keep playing it. Oh my god, wait, look at those birds. That looks terrifying. Like with this weather, we kind of look like we're in a horror movie. Wait, they're coming closer. Oh my god. Well, this might be it, boys. Okay, how freaking cute. There's cast members over there waving with their little Mickey hands. Oh my god, I love them. This is so exciting, and we are moving! We're finally on vacation! So, if you look right there, that is actually the fantasy. It's really hard to see, but you can tell by that like super iconic shape that we are just kind of hanging out with the fantasy right there. Um, they've been hanging out there since we left the dock, so I don't know if they're waiting to dock, or if this is their quote-unquote day at sea, or what, but kind of cool. So I thought this was super cool. We have a veranda. So when you do the cast member discount, you can only get a veranda. Um, obviously it's super discounted though, which is great because if it wasn't, we would have had like an inside one. We're more worried about spending money on drinks and things like that than we are about the way our room looks. But because we got the veranda, here we are. Kind of cool though. We are literally the very last veranda on this side. And then it's portables. Also, that looks super official. I don't know what it is, but. Is that thunder? I wouldn't doubt it. The seas look super crazy right now, but super exciting. And then obviously we are in the very, very, very front. I want to know what that thing is. We're going to investigate. We're going to ask. There was lightning. What you doing, Wesley? Don't talk to me. <laughs> it's your fault. It's all my fault. But look, they're not wrinkly. And they're just hanging from every which way. But they're not wrinkly. Yeah, but they're fucking wet. <laughs> so it's a lot calmer than it was earlier. But still, we've been seeing some pretty good lightning out here. That's pretty much the last I can see of the shoreline. Again, it's really hard to see from the camera, but... Again, it goes all the way back towards where the fantasy is over there. But pretty freaking cool. I'm not exactly sure where we're going other than in circles for our day at sea because, you know, Florida's not that big and this boat is chugging. Also, I want to know what those decks are. Those are freaking awesome. What? Maybe if we get done with Remy's early enough, we can like sneak in. Because our reservation here, well, our dinner time here is 8 30 which is an hour after remy's but i don't think we'll get done with remy's in time so we're not eating here tonight because we have our remy's reservation but this is the royal palace 
kind of jealous we're not eating here tonight. Not gonna lie. Like, look how gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Look at all of them. They're so pretty. I'm crying. Like, how freaking gorgeous. Someone actually playing the piano. I am obsessed. And apparently, and we look way overdressed. You look so good. Did you know a male elephant is called a bull? And I didn't know that till about two weeks into the Kilimanjaro safaris when a guest asked me if they had any bull elephants, and I said no because I thought that was a different species. Fake fan. Fake fan for real. Oh, you look like James Bond. You're so hot. No, I don't. <laughs> You're right. James Bond would never be a light colored suit combination. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got back from eating at Remy's, and it was honestly really good. It was so good. Better have been good. It was five hundred dollars. Why do you just throw that in there? I did just throw like, that in there. Like, you got to price a, tag us like that? It was a lot of money, and we weren't expecting it to be that much you money. You say it was a lot of money. You don't got to price like, tag us like well, that. They can look it up. I mean, maybe. My people aren't stupid. Better not be. But no, because it was one twenty five per person before all the extra stuff. And then they have all this extra stuff, like the water costs money. Like, we got like a 7 and a $9 water. <laughs> then you could get like caviar you could get extra add-ons for golden enhancements caviar. golden caviar which was already like 500 dollars on its own like you could get all this different stuff which was really cool but i did get an upgrade i got a 55 dollars upgrade because then it was like two different types of um beef at the end and they were only two ounces each but they were so 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 good I wish I had like a real menu though, because he would go through and intricately explain every single little thing that was on your table. And I just, I was like, yeah, that looks delicious. Let's eat it. And it was, it was so good. But I felt like it would be rude to follow along on our phones where we did have a menu. Oh, what? really? What? No, that just surprises me. What? To follow along on the menu. Like, I feel like it'd be rude. On our phones? Yeah, I mean, they yeah. could give us... Oh, we didn't ask for a paper menu! Well, good thing we'll be back there tomorrow for brunch. So we'll tell you how <laughs> that is also. If we had gone tonight before booking tomorrow's brunch, we wouldn't have booked tomorrow's brunch. It's just so much money. But we'll get... It's right. fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
it's my birthday weekend, we'll make it worth it. But anyways, um, so we thought it was going to be like a five course meal. It was probably eight or nine courses, nine or ten, maybe, because literally they'd be like, we have a surprise for you. We have something extra for you. Dessert was like a three course thing all on its own. Well, it's also because they were so gracious and they realized that it was AJ's birthday because AJ told them, surprise, but yes, tomorrow for brunch, they actually don't do any celebrations, so they were very gracious and kind to us and AJ and had a celebration for her tonight. So. You're the cutest. Yes, but I was very excited. Um, and they gave us like a whole chocolate dish, which was really, really good. Chocolate egg. Big ol' egg. I'll have to put the video of the egg in there. Um, I didn't take my camera because I felt like that was rude, but I definitely was that girl taking videos, which, not like anyone would know, there were only two other couples there, and then there was a family, like, way back in the back. There was an area where, like, the doors can close off, but there were only two other couples there. And then, like, We were nine definitely talking servers. at a whisper pitch. We were kind of talking. Because it was very quiet. Yeah, we just didn't. But it was really cool because when we got there, it was storming. And, like, it slowly got darker, but then it was, like, a light show, like, poof, 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 poof. <laughs> excuse me, but that was cool. And, like, the glare, we could see all the waiters behind us just watching us. And so we'd see them come with our food, and we're, like, <laughs> proper, proper. <laughs> it was funny, but it was really, really good. We're definitely appetizer people. Like, the first, like, three or four courses, we were, like, holy cow, this is the best thing I've ever had in my life. And then we would get to the main courses, and we were just like, okay. <laughs> okay. Very full. Yeah, very full. And we're, you know us. We're big cheese people, big charcuterie people. There was only, like, one cheese each that we liked out of the ten cheeses we tried. Like, to the point where we literally spit some out. I'm not proud. It was bad. It was instinct. I was like, oh, it's, it's fine, you know? You gotta tell the people. They want, they want realness. Everything wasn't perfect, but it was so good. And such an experience, like one of those things where they lay down your napkins for you. If we went to the restroom, they'd get up and walk us to the bathroom and then walk us back. And like, it was just, oh, that was incredible. Very attentive. Very attentive. And like, we went and we were supposed to be at the Royal Palace tonight. And we went, we walked around just to like see it, you know. It was loud. It was crowded. We felt in the way. And there, literally, what, four other people in the whole yeah. restaurant? It was crazy. It was so good. Tomorrow will be very interesting. I'm very excited. Hopefully it won't be a three-hour affair, but oh, I am full. I am ready to take a nap. But Wesley learned today, and so did all of Remy's, that um, I am an empty vessel when it comes to desserts. He's like, how are you still eating? <laughs> Just... Mm. But yeah. Again, I feel bad because I don't know everything that he said, but I will post everything that I took videos of, even though they're going to be pretty low quality because it was on my iPhone and in the dark, but I'm very excited. It was yummy, and I'm fat and happy, and it's a good way to ring in the birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm.